Hi, I'm Chris Howell and welcome to today's Earnings Corner. Now, Debenhams, who are Britain's number two department store, have posted slower sales growth in their latest trading period. A 200 year old firm have blamed poor weather, dire economic conditions on their poor sales growth. Now, analysts are expecting their pre tax profits come in at around about 153 million for the year. This is a figure that Debenhams are quite comfortable with. Uh, as they feel it reflects strongly on their focus on margins, costs and their stocks. Now, as a whole, the general stores on the high street are always going to struggle, especially with consumers' disposable incomes at record lows at the moment. They did make market share gains, however, in their clothing, beauty uh, and home sections. Their online sales alone increased by 40%. And that figure tells me where their focus needs to be on. Consumers in general prefer internet now. Um, they'd rather impulse buy on their phone uh, and laptop than go in store and just faff around and then not buy anything. If you look at the likes of ASOS for example, over the last few years their sales have increased at record rates. In the third quarter alone their sales increased by 45%. For me Debenhams just need to take a leaf out of their book. When you go on Debenhams website, it's outdated and quite frankly it's rubbish. If they put a bit more focus on that, their sales could increase greatly. Then you look to their stores. Now, from the outside uh, going in, they look fantastic. You, the first thing that hits you is the health and beauty section. And then after that, it pretty much starts to go downhill. You go around the corner and then it starts getting dull and dreary and you have all the Blue Cross sale signs everywhere. And from a consumer's point of view, it just looks naff, really. Whereas on the opposite scale, you've got the likes of John Lewis, who are Britain's number one department store for that reason. It's a bit more trendy in there, and that's what consumers in general are looking for. So, for me, Debenhams are a sell. Um, I think unless they pull their finger out and update some of their stores and their website, their 200-year reign on the high street could end up like wars. Thanks for listening.